Hey everyone, welcome to the beta. This is Jeff Kaplan. I'm one of the guys from the Overwatch team. Well, I like making the game. You know, that's that's my happy place, is working on the game, making sure things are cool, working with the team. In case you're wondering how to spell Moira, it's spelled O-P-A-F, just in case you're wondering. For all the people out there that play Overwatch on the reg or on the daily, today we got some genuinely bad news. Jeff Kaplan, Jeff from the Overwatch team, the game director of Overwatch and vice president of Blizzard, has announced he's leaving the Overwatch team. He's leaving Blizzard. He's not only a living legend in the Overwatch community, he's also a living god. He's a living meme, but in the in, in all the best ways. Again, this is genuinely, it kind of sucks. Because if you're like me, you jump on every day, you play Overwatch, you are always looking forward to the next developer update where Jeff Kaplan would just ramble on for about 12 minutes, like I do in these episodes, and talk about what was coming up in Overwatch in terms of patches, updates, nerfs, changes in general. And off the back of those famous developer updates, we could also look forward to Dino Flask, a fellow YouTuber, memeing the hell out of Jeff. Well, let's just say not even a team of six pro Mercy mains would be able to resurrect this community. But yes, in a surprising move, Blizzard has released a statement saying that Jeff is now stepping down. He's going to be leaving Blizzard, also announcing his successor. But the big question is now, what's that mean for Overwatch 2? And have we seen this before with other games where other people have stepped down before a game's come out? And does that spell trouble? Let's get into it, all this and more, after the drop. So Overwatch was released in 2016 to an extremely positive reception. Not only was it a huge hit for Blizzard, but also was just a huge hit on Twitch. YouTubers were making a boatload of content on it. And this was before Fortnite. So in many ways, it became the dominating game of its time before Fortnite. And it also hit TF2 off its mantle and became the next big game in that space. Originally, Jeff and the Overwatch team was actually considering an MMO-based shooter, perhaps called Crossroads. But when that didn't really crystallize the bare bones of what they had, became Overwatch and the successful game that we've seen since. And here enters Jeff from the Overwatch team when he first did his first developer update within the beta. A veteran of Blizzard for nearly 20 years, not only helming the ship of Overwatch, but he was also the face of it. And what's important to remember is Jeff wasn't just the dude that just told us what's happening in the space of Overwatch with updates. He was the face of it. He was the mascot. And it's pretty rare to see that. I know we've seen, of course, other game directors and other people that speak on behalf of the game, but Jeff was kind of in a league of his own and there was also meme content made about him, as I said about Dino Flask, but he also just represented what Overwatch was to a lot of people. But today though, in a shock announcement, Jeff has announced that he is leaving the Overwatch team and leaving Blizzard, as Kotaku correctly pointed out, in an absolute power boss move, Jeff has delivered his parting statement completely in lower caps. But you don't need caps when you're Jeff Kaplan. God, that's bad. Let's keep it in. I'm leaving Blizzard Entertainment after 19 amazing years. It was truly the honor of a lifetime to have the opportunity to create worlds and heroes for such a passionate audience. I want to express my deep appreciation to everyone at Blizzard who supported our games our game teams and our players. But I want to say a special thanks to the wonderful game developers that shared in the journey of creation with me. Never accept the world as it appears to be, always dare to see it for what it could be. I hope you do the same. GG, Jeff Kaplan. Ah, Jeff, we're gonna miss you, buddy. Kaplan's director chair will be filled by Aaron Keller, an 18-year Blizzard veteran who has worked on Overwatch and World of Warcraft. But look, everyone, I've got to ask, okay? When you are working now on the sequel to one of the biggest games of 2016, which also won Game of the Year in 2016, let's not forget that. You've been working now for a few years on this. It's probably coming out in the next 12 to 18 months, Overwatch 2, and you leave now? What's up with that? 
It's important to remember also we've seen this with other games. When Bioware's chief of staff and director of Anthem, Jonathan Warner left, it didn't make sense and it showed a lot of red flags to a lot of people and it kind of led a lot to believe that maybe development was in trouble. It wasn't until the game actually came out that we saw that it was a complete dumpster fire that we truly understood that yes, development was in trouble and the game was in trouble big time. And then after that, Jason Schreier, through his investigative reporting, found that this entire development cycle was a complete mess. Chris Lee from Halo Infinite also left. You may have seen that semi-recently. The game's been pushed back now, and it also didn't meet the launch date of the Xbox Series X, the new console for Xbox, which is now leading many to believe that maybe Halo Infinite is also in development hell. Now, I'm only mentioning these previous games to say that in the gaming industry especially, sometimes these patterns can start forming and maybe they can start telling us something. Now I know of course we are assuming, it's important to, to mention that we are assuming here, but come on, after years now of development for Overwatch 2, not very much that we actually have seen up until recently, which was a deep dive, which only further cemented in my mind that this just looks like more of a hefty DLC than an actual new game of Overwatch. Maybe Overwatch's development isn't going as swimmingly as we would hope. I like my cookies like I like my Overwatch with plenty of salt. I come back to my previous point. If you are bringing out one of the biggest games that you've ever worked on in terms of its sequel, and you, you do have some sort of release window in the next 12 to 18 months, and it's going to be your magnum opus, why would you leave? Like, it just doesn't make sense. That There has to be some reasons behind this. And if we've seen this with other games, with other game directors leaving, which ends up games getting delayed or a very rocky launch, you know, it just makes a lot of people, I guess, worry what's going to happen with Overwatch 2. Perhaps the new fish, which really isn't a new fish because he's been there for 18 years, Aaron Keller, is maybe going to bring a new vision, a new vibrancy, a new direction to Overwatch. Aaron Keller said it himself in the blog that he has no pretenses for filling Jeff's shoes so my guess is he's going to try and make his own mark and not have to try and compete with what Jeff's accomplished. And look, that could be a really good thing. Aaron said regarding Jeff, Jeff's been a great leader, mentor and friend, and he knows how much we're going to miss him. I've been lucky to work alongside him and the rest of the Overwatch team for many years in building something that continues to inspire people all around the world and I'm honored to carry the torch forward. And look, here's the thing, right? I've said this before in terms of other games that desperately need a reset button. Overwatch does need, in a lot of ways, a reset button. They've got a diminished population and they are out of the conversation in terms of mainstream gaming now. It's just a fact. I'm waiting 17 minutes sometimes in queue just to get a game. As silly as it may sound, putting a two on the end of a game's name immediately makes previous players that have left more interested now to jump back in and check it out again. And to new players that want to experience the newest Blizzard game, they'll also potentially check it out too. With new leadership, with a new direction, we may see that a lot of the problems that you know Overwatch has experienced in the past, maybe with a fresh set of eyes, things can be different. Maybe it can remain a bit more into the conversation as years go forward, especially with Overwatch 2 hopefully coming out around the corner. But Jeff, before we go, from all the hardcore fans of Overwatch, we appreciate you, we love you, thank you for your 12, 13 minute rambles of one developer update. We have thoroughly appreciated it and we look forward to seeing what you're doing next. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in, love you, appreciate you. I'll see you guys next time. Lame it out! Hey everyone, this is Jeff from the Overwatch team. Thank you so much for being here with us for so long. We wanted to do something special for those of you who sat with us through this whole day. It's been pretty awesome. I hope you've had as much fun as I've had. It's been pretty incredible. I don't think I'll ever forget this one. So as a special treat to all of you who stuck it out and watched the entire thing, we thought what better reward for you than to announce the next Overwatch hero. Me and the Overwatch team are very excited and very proud to announce that the next Overwatch hero is going to be...